What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Uh, one thing new to the stream as of right now, uh, we have a little Hello Fresh sponsorship going on for the next two weeks. <clears throat> it's a pretty cool offer. Uh, you get 22 free meals, free shipping, and three surprise gifts if you use that little promo code up, up there. Uh, the 21 free meals, uh, is it 21 or 22? It's a lot of free meals. It's over the course of your first eight boxes. So I ordered three boxes today and not three boxes. Uh, I ordered a box with three meals, six meals in it. And three of them were basically free because that's how that works. So over the course of eight boxes, you're getting about three meals for free, which is great. It cost me about 30 bucks for six meals. Pretty good deal. Uh, we've used HelloFresh before, Katie and I, and we enjoyed it pretty much every time. We even, they they give you little recipe cards that tell you how to make the entrees with pictures and stuff. And you can save those and remake the meals. And we had them on our fridge for quite a while. So it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a pretty cool offer. And if you guys want to sign up, you can use the promo code right above. P-O-G-H-F-29-324. I think that's correct. Double check for sure though. And uh, yeah, check it out. HelloFresh is pretty sweet. So, now we're in the queue. And I'll, I'll let you guys know again later when there's more. But yeah, it's, it, the offer's for new accounts only. So be sure that you're using a new account. But yeah, the, the total comes out to about like five bucks a meal, which is... Pretty good, especially for the quality. HelloFresh is pretty delicious. And Magic the Gather. Blightsteel Colossus. Renan Sixer. Hmm. This pack is kind of unexciting. This guy's not even great with something like channel or sneak attack. Like he's okay. I guess he's good with channel, but he's not great with sneak attack. They have to have like no blockers. Soar of Temptation is, I guess, an option. Wish Claw Talisman is a thing some other players might consider, not me. I do like an Embreath Shield Breaker, but not more than a Ren and Six. I'm going to take the Ren and Six and let's see if we can build around this guy. I do like a Gristle Brand. We could also go Grist and just play like Jund Cheap Walkers. You sacrifice a creature when you destroy a creature or Planeswalker. Create a 1-1 one -one and mill two cards. I don't actually love milling myself in in Limited if I don't have a way to take advantage. I think I'd I think it's early enough where I'd rather just take Gristlebrand and build around that guy because it's Gristlebrand. <sighs> Baleful Strix. God, you know I love a Baleful Strix. Could still be Jund like Reanimate, uh, which would be good for Colagon's command. We could also take this Taiga, which might be the pick actually. It really depends on if we're playing Ren and Six or not. If we're not playing Ren and Six, and we're just going on Gristlebrand, I'd rather take the Baleful Strix. <sighs> or even the Colagon's command, I can discard my own Gristlebrand with it. I'm gonna take Colagon's command here. I, I think, see, and then we have Through the Breach, which is pretty cool, so I'm kind of glad we're black-red now. And now I can even build around this. Also, there's a Zeotaurus Proving Ground, which might come back. Not positive, but who knows. I try not to make too many suggestions during drafts anymore, only because I'm bad at it. No, that's a good reason. But also, by making those suggestions that are bad, uh, you get input on them, you know? So, you know, that's pretty cool. Swamp and Mountain. This is also, we can cycle this to get back with Red and Six. 
So I'm going to take the Proving Ground and assume, or the, the Lounge, rather, <laughs> and assume that's correct. Woodfall Primus is pretty good with Through the Breach. Uh, the Triple Red is scary, but we're probably not going to be casting him. We also have Makeshift Mannequin, which is probably good enough if we throw out a Gristle Brand. I think we're just taking the Mannequin here. I don't feel like we're going that heavy into green. Like a Huntmaster is a card I would play because it's just a good, solid, solid gentleman. Uh, Duress also might be good. Open a few packs of Dominaria collector's packs just for fun. I mean, I love opening packs, don't get me wrong. I think it's either Duress or Huntmaster. Um, I'm going to take the Duress. Duress is better when we're trying to through the breach, right? Like, I don't want people to, like, mess up my... My breach, you know. <sighs> it could just be a Leshnorn, but I don't think so. It's not Dark Confidant. It might be Duretti. Let's us discard things. Gets a little deeper. It's not Lotus Petal. I don't think it's Toski. I'll just take the Duretti. Oh, the Badlands came back. That is incredibly good. If the Taiga can come back as well. The Grist came back and the Blood Crypt. That's fascinating. Also, Milling might be better here. Uh, I'll take a Kogla, sure. Looks like the, the Taiga did not come back. Woodfall Primus came back and we have Kogla. Now we have two triple green cards, so that's nice. Full art, oh wow. So we got everything really, that's great. <laughs> full art vampiric, full art foil sylvan library and regular sylvan library. That doesn't seem bad. In fact, you might say it seems good. Oh, the Triland didn't come back either, that's unfortunate. And now we have a mountain forest. I like a glory bringer. I think Sylvan Library might be the play here though, right? I mean, we want some early stuff. This card's very weird. I'm not sure why it's in the key. It's a three, two for two. You make a blood token. You can sacrifice it to give a creature negative one, negative one. Oh, negative two, negative two, because of the blood token. Is that good? Anyway, I'll take Sylvan Library. <laughs> so, I don't know. Beautiful volcanic island. Got a raging ravine. Sad the taiga didn't come back. Fetch. Not, there's no fetch in here. Is that just a late comment? Is there a fetch last pack that I just didn't take? Was it any good? Could it even get our lands? I, I don't love double green here, I'll be honest. I think I'd rather take Raging Ravine. Especially because we have no fixing right now and we have no green lands to fix.
No, I can't see what it says. I'm on mobile. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess yelling fetch does help. If there's a fetch. I'll take the Rakdos Signet. I like ramping into things like Through the Breach or... You know, other things that are like Through the Breach, I guess. Necromancy. That's pretty good. Especially because we're milling with this guy. And looting with this guy. And we really just want things to bring back now. Oh, I like this guy. I mean, you can't bring him back, but you can through the breach him. And that's really, that's really pretty good. Also a treachery, fairly late. Also, if we get a sneak attack, I'm, I'm going to be quite happy. Uh, I think you just take Inferno Titan because it's an Inferno Titan. That seems correct. I just meant duel. <laughs> okay, well, what up, Klebnar? Uh, yeah, we'll just take Inferno Titan. Inferno Titan's going to Titan, as they say. See, this makes me think Eureka is cool here, but again, double green. We only have four green cards right now. So I'm not trying to like... Oh yeah, if we get a shoulder, that would be great too. Shoulder and like a gristle brand would be sweet. Just pay seven, uh, gain 14. It might just be Maelstrom Pulse here or Toxic Deluge. Let's take Toxic Deluge. Watching you and the Northmen. Good times. I don't know what the Northmen is, actually. Is that about Eric Northman from True Blood? I'm looking it up right now. Oh, 89 on Rotten Tomatoes. That seems good. Oh my god, it does actually have Alexander Skarsgård in it. That's hilarious. Oh, it's the Robert Eggers movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, his name wasn't Eric Northman, was it? In True Blood? That would be hilarious, right? That's not correct. No, I'm checking right now. I'm not even going to look at chat because I want to find it on my, on my own. Eric Northman. His name was Eric Northman in True Blood? And then he's in a movie called The Northman? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Wow. Oh, and then Tomb fascinating you have fascinated me with your entomb this character's name was Barrack Northman <laughs> it's, it's, yeah that's funny that's <laughs> wow that's so funny I was like no way I must be just confusing him right I was not confusing him Never more and more lands are putting your graveyard for anywhere gains to life. Yeah, Ren and Six isn't just looking at, isn't looking that hot right now, which makes me think the green might not be looking that hot. But I don't even know, man. I guess I take this stupid idiot. Maybe I just play him. I'll take a worm, a worm, wormy boy. Oh, Liliana, sure. I'll take Show and Tell, sure. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have like a an aggressive black sub theme here with these guys and the blood tide harvester. His next movie will be about a young pioneer called Go North Man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the blood yeah, the blood token being a discard outlet was actually what I was like, oh man, that's not terrible. Pitch a gristle brand. Okay, well, we got some power. That's pretty sweet. Just kidding. It was not sweet. There is an Ulamog, which is good with Through the Breach. And it's just good to reanimate. So maybe it's Ulamog. I don't think it's any of these. I don't think it's Dark Depths. I don't think it's Sword. I'm pretty sure it's Ulamog, huh? Power in quotes. Oh my god, I was literally thinking like, if I get a channel, I can easily cast these two, and then there's a channel right there. That's that's really comical. That's hilarious. I think it's just him to Torok here.
Yeah, I'm just taking him to Torok. I mean, I don't think we need Worm Coil Engine. Oh, Vampire Hex Mage is interesting because if Dark Depths comes back, we can do it. But also we could just take Bayou, which I think I'm going to do. I just took the Bayou. We have 22 cards here. I think they're all reasonably playable. However, our Ren and Six is looking, looking, looking pretty rough. I mean, it's looking, it's looking rough in as 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 rough as Ren and Six can look on its own, you know. Which is not terrible. You've been following what's been going on D and D and the OGL stuff. Yeah, Super Fritz has actually been. Uh, been keeping us apprised. I've also been watching a ton of YouTube videos. I don't know, man. Wizards of the Coast are making some really, really suspect decisions. I, I don't, I don't personally really understand them, I guess. And, uh, I don't feel like it's worth burning the amount of goodwill you have with your players for these little, little short-term gains, I guess. But, you know, I'm not a CEO, so what do I know? Is it just Golgari Signet? I really like Consecrated Sphinx, but <laughs> I guess we can cast it off of our single Xander's Lounge. I think it's just Signet. I don't think we have any 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 shenanigans with Bitter Blossom here. I like grief a lot. Grief is cool. Ignoble hierarch would be great if we if we weren't so light on green. I think it's just grief here. Probably take out Duretti. Uh, the OGL was never no. The OGL was never a relevant a relevant thing for us. Interesting. I do love a Euro. I think the only reasonable card here is probably... I guess Ophiomancer is good, right? <sighs> Dire Fleet Daredevil just has so many good... Yeah, I'll take the Dire Fleet Daredevil. Like, there's so many situations where you're like, Oh, you got an Ancestral? Now I have an Ancestral. We could have had Argoth and Titania. There are supposed to be four land cards in your graveyard for this to flip. That's that's kind of silly. I'll just take Packrat. Swamp and Forest and Island. Uh, Vampiric Tutor is interesting. It's also Crop Rotation. We could have actually had a really sick... Um, Dark Depths deck. We could have had Crop Rotation, Dark Depths, Vampire, Hex Mage. I think it's Triome. That gives us five lands. Triome is green black. It's also another blue source, just in case that's ever relevant. <laughs> Grief is cool. <laughs> oh, man. What a griefer. I don't think it's this stupid idiot. Oh my god. The, I'm sorry. What? Stop it. Get some help. I mean, I'll make it work since I've gotten significantly more lands. That's wild. How in the earth? Next you're going to tell me Warm Coal Engine is going to come back. Z Vampire Hex Mage. We didn't get the Dark Depths, right? <laughs> Take Zealous Conscripts. That guy's just immensely playable. This I don't understand, man. That's, that is, it's kind of like power. I, I think it's very good. I love it.
Let's just take Bitter Bee. This deck is going to be hard to build. Sure, Plow Under. Whatever. Yeah, I hate that I have two Trilands that produce blue. And I'm not... I'm not blue. What does Evolve Sleeper do? Okay, it becomes a 2-2, two -two, so it's Figure of Destiny. Then it becomes a Death Touch 3-3. Three -three. So I would have actually taken Euro if there was any way to escape him in our deck, but I don't think there's really gonna be. Does this, what does this do? Ender's Battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary green creature, create a 2-2 two -two bear, and then mill three cards. Interesting, okay. All right, well, this is 27 cards. Thank you. Oh my God, Frank Honig Disciple, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. This is the only one that matters. Wait, why? Why is it the only one that matters? I mean, we can even, I pick pack rats even playable. And then, okay, so for three mana, it gets a counter and you draw a card, right? Yeah, okay. So it's just like a Phyrexian Arena. I don't think I care about Doretti that much, I'll be honest. And I honestly almost re lean more heavily into green. I mean, is Woodfall Primus just... Like, we can think of Toxic Deluge unless we need it. I, I think that's an easy, easy card to sideboard in. I don't care about the Harvester. I like these two. I like everything here. I think we're definitely channeling with these two. I do love Primus a lot. Big, big Les Claypool fan. Little Primus humor there. Uh, Ophium Answer's kind of meh. Titan's just very good, though. But that does turn it into a black green deck splashing red. Which I think might be better. Sometimes less is more clay pool. <laughs> Sometimes Super Fred says stuff and I'm like, I don't want to laugh at this. And then I laugh at it. It's all downhill from there. Okay. Let's sort by Colares. So only five red cards now. That's nice. I like that. None are double red. Perfect. And then one, two, three, four, five, six blue green cards. <laughs> um, okay, Rakdos Signet, you can go there. Golgari Signet, you can go there. So I can see what's going on here. Okay, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a lot of black. I'm going to assume we're cutting one. <laughs> uh, red, we have one, two, three, four, five. Definitely want at least six red. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is actually six, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, six, ten. Plus each signet is represented. So it's like 12, seven, seven. I think that's probably okay. I might just want one more green though because we have Woodfall Primus and Channel that we can actually cast both of. So. I think this is probably correct. And away we go. Super Fritz, I appreciate you. I, th I think I got your Christmas gift today and I have to open it still, so. I'll send pictures once I do. Also, while we're waiting, don't forget to check out HelloFresh. They are a sponsor of the stream for the next couple weeks. Uh, you can use my promo code above to get 21 free meals and free shipping uh, on your first eight boxes. So what that means is basically um, you can get about three free meals every box. So about $30. Uh, I actually picked up six meals today myself. It was about 30 bucks. 
which is a pretty good deal. Five dollars a meal. And uh, Katie and I have had HelloFresh before, and they were very good. Every time we've gotten them, we've enjoyed them. But if you're looking for some cheap meals, definitely check them out. There's tons of options for tons of dietary preferences. Longtime YouTube listener, couldn't wait for the next cube to be uploaded, so here I am. <laughs> here I am as well, so. So we have a Renin 6 on 2 or a Channel on 2, and that's okay. No fetch lands in the sec is kind of rough for Ren 6, but I mean, late game, you can still play him, cycle a uh, one of the triomes, and you're still right as rain. I don't know what we want. So we're just going to actually kill this guy now because that's kind of cool. We also have several things that mill, so we could easily hit, like, lands that way. Uh, okay. Big whiff and check it and see. What are they doing here? You, yeah, if the if the ravine rages too hard, you can definitely get that back. Is this going to resolve? <laughs> I've chosen no lands, so your choices are not. It's, it's not a threatening action. Hello. Oh boy, we're having a good time. Oh, we did it. <whistles> Only the two of us. Yep. Did they pay three mana to play a Lotus Petal? Tinker. Fascinating. I hope it's something stupid. I bet it's going to be Inkwell or Blightsteel. That's going to be sad. But if not, Mind Slaver. That's fascinating. I'm fascinated. So, here's the problem. If they mind slaver us, they get to play a land. Oh, they get to just play channel and kill us. <laughs> That's funny. Let's not do that. So we want to get Channel out of the hand, and we want to get Gristlebrand out of the hand. Um, fascinating. Oh, this is this is the this is going to be the tits here. <laughs> Just so you know. Signet. Steal your mind slaver, and then we're gonna take your turn. 
Taking this dude's turn. One, two, three, four. Put your mind slave on the floor. Didn't even activate this guy because it didn't care. <laughs> That's how we do. Uh, get rid of a green. Fascinating. Draw your card. Brainstorm. <sighs> so I think we are going to play a land, then we're going to play Tezzeret. Look at your whole deck. Okay. Chromox, Mox Diamond, Revoker, Signet, Foundry. Let's just screen cap this. Did they concede yet? No. Okay, I thought they did for a second. Uh, doot, doot, doot. <laughs> so that's pretty much everything. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we just get Chrome Mox. Imprint your brainstorm so that you don't you. have any brainstorms. Genics, not sure. You got it. Tap this idiot. And now you're done. All right. So we know you have Island Sphinx of the Steel Wind. That's good to know. Three, four, five. Just get a land back. Oh, Neil P. Stars, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. One, two. So we can deal four, seven. I don't think we can kill them. Eight, nine, ten. We can actually get them to one. That's kind of funny. Um. Turn a creature from my graveyard to my hand, huh? I don't think we're doing that. We'll just make them discard and destroy an artifact. Oh my god. Okay, so we know they have Sphinx of the Steel Wind in hand. That sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn we can play Woodfall Primus. Take them off black. I think this game's probably over at that point. Or at this point, even. You know? Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Man. Channel into Gristlebrand, into Zealous Conscripts, into Steal Your Mind Slaver and Mind Slaver You. That's pretty good. Primus does close the show. Do they have, they have a lot of artifacts, it seems like. They show and tell from Mind Slaver. Fascinating. We don't have a ton of ways to deal with artifacts, unfortunately. I could see playing Plow Under here, to be quite honest. What do they have in their deck? They have Consecrated Sphinx, which we do want to get rid of. They have a Bribery, which is actually kind of scary. They have Time Walk and Mystic Confluence as well. Their deck is actually, and Mana Drain, their deck is actually pretty good. I don't think we're going to win anymore. <laughs> we do have him to Torak and Duress, but holy crap, dude. Bribery is is kind of frightening. How do we deal with the bribery? I guess we try to plow under them. I 
Yeah, let's take Liliana out, and we'll also take Renin Six out for Dire Fleet. Dire Fleet does seem good, like being able to get their bribery or something if we have the mana. And they have Time Walk, so even bribery on Time Walk seems good. Actually, Pulse might be better than Hero's Downfall now that we're heavier. Heavier green. Sure. It's not the best start, but we're, you know, we're, we're, we've got our fingers crossed. That's a big dude. Make a 1-1. One, one. Beautiful. What a beautiful servo. Fascinating. All right, this is a slow game for sure. <laughs> Great for Tinker, though. They didn't attack. Well, I'm fascinated. I mean, do we think they just have Mana Drain in hand? Yes, the answer's got to be yes, right? So they Mana Drain this guy, they gain eight. I mean, we can't just play around it forever. Like, that doesn't get us anywhere, so... Yeah, their deck seems very good. That's a gentleman. We are not letting you draw two with that if we can help it. I don't see any other counter spells other than Mystic Confluence in your deck, so you should just be able to murder that guy. Oh, now you're attacking. Fascinating. Interesting. What can we entomb? Anything? And they actually do have the Urza Saga in their deck to uh, to get the Retrofitter Foundry, Thank so that's kind of cool. These guys are just going to kill me. McGimp with the resub. Thank you, buddy. McGimp, you should poke around on my application and see how that's going. We might as well get something into the graveyard here, because otherwise, what's the point of this card, you know? Is there anything that we can play from the graveyard? Not really. So we'll just get Woodfall Primus in there, because then we'll draw Makeshift Mannequin. Ooh, let's duress you. Do you Mystic Confluence this, or do you let me take the Mystic Confluence? These are the questions. They're going to Mystic Confluence this. They did not Mystic Confluence this? I mean, we're definitely taking the Mystic Confluence. <laughs> because otherwise we don't get to do what we want to do. I mean, I'm tempted to just play Chupacabra here to block a guy. Plow under, we plow under, they tap two mana. They play Factor Fiction, or they they play they probably play Factor Fiction after we plow them, so they can decide 
what they're getting, which makes me think it is Choops. I mean, I assume they just sack the one I'm, they didn't sack the one I'm targeting. That's fascinating. Their deck is very good, but they're not playing it very well. Um, this one by itself. Let's see if any lands are going to the graveyard. Do you want to draw four or do you want to draw one mines, mind slaver? This is really interesting. They took four. So they did this, but they literally could have just sacked the one I targeted. So then they have one extra guy. So that's not ideal. Swamp. Got it. These are your six cards. So they can actually sack one, two, three. They can't play Forge Master now. Yes, they can. They had one floating, I guess. Um, they can actually sack to get Sphinx of the Steel Wind or I guess that's probably it, huh? So if we can get one more land, we actually can play Gristlebrand, which is kind of cool. Did I choose two? No. One, two. I'm not gonna mess you. I, I have to assume they're getting Sphinx. They don't have really much else to get based on their deck. Yeah, it looks like Mindslaver and Sphinx are their only two real targets. So now we know they drew a swamp. I might have even upkeeped Kaldotha Forge Master just so I didn't draw the swamp, but they don't have Forge Master. Factor fictions in the graveyard. So what are they what am I missing here? They have memory jar, island, island, swamp. Maybe like whatever they drew last turn. Mina, no. I mean, Gristlebrand does block a Sphinx of the Steel Wind all day. Lotus Petal. So we know your whole hand, basically, is what you're saying. Memory Jar. Got it. Why not attack with the... F I guess you're going to sack it? I don't understand anything anymore. That's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. It's only Mills 1, right? Cool. I don't know how we're still alive this game, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> So we know they have a swamp. Yeah, island's gone. They might not even have the island anymore. Necromancy on Woodfall Primus actually seems phenomenal. Mmm. Oh man, and we got Dark. Oh, we're not gonna get the Dark Fleet Daredevil. That's a bum bum in my tum tum. Oh, we can get it back with Kolagon's command, then time walk, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So we need one more land. Sure. What is this you're doing? Oh, you're just casting Sphinx of the Steel Wind. You're casting Karn. 
Well, I'm going to kill Karn for sure. Yep, you got it. Jesus. So many things they're doing. We don't have reach, do we? Nah, just checking. You like how I said we can use Kolagon's command to get uh, Dire Fleet when we discard Dire Fleet, not even considering we're going to get Kolagon's command as well? That's sad. I mean, they got to use... No? Weird. I think we knew about that. What now? I don't even know what other big things you have in your deck. I've seen the whole deck, right? <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that's a thing. I mean, are they just... Why, why haven't they gotten Sphinx of the Steelwind yet? I don't actually understand. You look hungry. I'm going to make you a little something. I'll go to the kitchen and make you something real quick. I'm actually quite full. <laughs> there we go. Look, they, they're doing it. They're figuring it out. So we take six, seven, eight. We go to two. I want to assume Gristlebrand can get, get the job done. <laughs> what? They didn't attack? Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh, we don't get the cast crystal brand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we didn't draw our eighth land. But we still we're not still not dead, right? So two lands, cool. So we take seven. Now we go to two. Still have a chance. You can't say no to grandma, that's rude. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's a good one. I'm so confused why they didn't attack last turn. I also don't understand that we have less time on the clock. <laughs> Land. Oh, he begged. He begged and pleaded. And there it was. Big gristles. Check in and see. All your counter spells are gone. I don't think you have any way to remove this. You can draw bribery, which is very good. But I'm pretty sure that's all you have. So if you don't top deck that, you know, good to go. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hilarious. So we can actually attack for seven and then take seven on the crack back. We could also just risk it and draw and see if we can deal with. Oh, we're just, oh, that's, a, that's phenomenal. So we have to find an answer in the top seven cards. Fuck it, YOLO, you know? Well, the answer is not here. That's unfortunate. We can zealous conscripts our gristle brand though, and that's pretty good. So we'll play this. Two, three, four, five. Play a conscript. It's your boy.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure we play the land we did. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so they can take the 10 mana Ulamog, and that's actually probably terrible for us, unfortunately. So we're just hoping they don't get that. So we're just want to dodge bribery one one time. That's all we want. No bribery this turn. Shut so up and take my money. Hair man, nice cut. Thanks, hair man. Yeah, I did get a haircut recently. Actually, last week, last Tuesday, one week ago today. Oh, we can actually attack with Gristlebrand channel to get the extra two mana and then cast Ulamog if they steal our Ulamog. I don't know, man. This is this is a game right here. You got it. Because I can't imagine they don't get our Ulamog. Oh, this destroys, so it won't even be able to kill the other Ulamog. No. Karakong, thank you for the bits, buddy. You're taking so yeah. Well, I'm just taking the crack back because they didn't pay for it, that's all. There it is. That might do it, unfortunately. Do we have Through the Breach still? Hmm. Yep, indestructible, huh? That is a good one. Fascinating. What do we have? We have Huntmaster of the Fells. Nope, that guy's discarded. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't actually know what we can draw here. Ugh. If we had this one and they had and they found this one, I mean we'd be in much better shape. I guess Silver take my Library is helpful. Pipe Man, nice crack. Wow, that is. Uh, I will look at three. And they were all lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, this is all the lands in our deck. So we have two spells underneath this. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think they're going to do anything for us. This guy milling us is really discouraging. I don't think we have a way around that, to be honest. And we don't have lethal here, so. Yeah, let's just go to game three. Wow, that was a battle. That was brutal. Let's see if we can figure out the last two cards in the deck. Makeshift Mannequin and... It might have been through the breach, actually. Yeah, let's bring in Maelstrom Pulse. That was probably a, a pretty easy switch out. Actually, Colagon seems insane here. <laughs> Why isn't Colagon in here? So does Massacre Room. Oh, man, both those guys seem good. And maybe we take out the these Shut two? Shut up and take my money. Hair pipe, crack cuts. <laughs> These are not real things. All right, let's see what we can do. Good grief, man. Actually, I wonder if we just go a little more aggressive and bring like Ophiomancer, Bloodgast, Packrack, Bitter Blossom, Evolved. Oh man, I wish I could unsubmit. Let's 
Do the breach can come out. Let's try this nonsense. Inferno, Inferno Titan's bad. I want to take out all the all the, in, the stuff that they'll use to kill my things. They also don't have a great answer to this Liliana. At least as far as I can tell. Oh yeah, it's got the Entomb too. This seems <laughs> hilariously worse, but maybe it's better against them. Because now their bribery is like, get a Chupacabra. Yeah, I like Koglin here, actually. I think it's just too good. This is a weird sideboard, man. Okay. Uh, definitely keep. <laughs> You're my infinite gyre too, Exodus. It's a turn three Liliana. That's cool. And if they don't have mana drain and keep it up. This is not a stip. This is just a draft that I'm playing. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, you're going to get rid of an island. So you can... Rakdos Signore. Oh, me too. Same, bro. Oh, they're, oh, they're tapping their things. Oh, let me feel comfortable. I just want to feel comfortable. Okay, so they don't have mana drain up. Fascinating. What's everyone's favorite bagel? Um, do you mean brand or type? I'm an everything bagel man, but I will take anything with garlic or onion or salt. I recently started appreciating salt bagels. This is a Tezzeret. I wonder what they get here. They just untap. Fascinating. So we have three black. We can go black, black, Coligon's Command as well. Play Bloodgast. Shoot him. Kill their Mox Diamond. Or we can play both of these guys as well. And that's kind of a good clock. I don't think that negative five to like Kuldatha. I think we're just going to shoot the... And then play Bloodgast, I guess. Is this any good? I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of their Mox Diamond. Could also just play Huntmaster, and that's just two dudes. Or Bloodgast Ophiomancer, which is also it's three dudes, actually. It's actually not an easy call, I don't think. I think this is it. I don't think I want to waste a Kolagon's command on like dealing two and then killing a Mox Diamond.
peanut butter is a chaotic choice. <laughs> uh, this is funny that this is the snake token they're using when they actually printed snake tokens in one of the commander sets. Why don't you just use the token? Oh, see, this is great. Now Colagon's command is a banana banger. And we get to kill the snake, too. Oh, boy, that's really good. Oh, man, we're doing... Search your library for something that costs one. Is it Retrofitter Foundry? I bet it is. Oh, I'm... oh and then they had an extra land as well. Hmm. Cast, uh, destroy an artifact, deal two. I mean, I know they have mana drain, right? Two cards, it's gotta be in fucking mana drain. Should have just waited, but I, I didn't want to uh, not. <laughs> yep, never fails. Of course you have two cards. Why wouldn't one of them be a mana drain? You know, that's total, total sense. Well, that's good. All right. Well, they get three mana. They have two cards in hand. Sure. Seems fine. Memory jar. Nope. Arcane proxy targeting nothing? Just brainstorm? That's not exciting. Because now we're definitely pulsing the sower, getting our Ophiomancer back, killing the snake. And I have one card. So that's pretty good for us, I think. Unless this is time walk. Shit. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. Do you name Liliana of the Veil? Or uh, the Last Hope? Oh, please name Liliana of the Veil. And be sure to check out HelloFresh. You can use the promo code above to get 21 free meals plus free shipping. It's a great deal. Get some cheap meals. So they have no cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, they're one shy to do everything. <sighs> I feel like I have to get rid of the Sower of Temptation though, right? If I get rid of the Revoker. I can still get rid of some other stuff. I think that's correct. I don't know. That feels... Getting Liliana back is pretty good. Yeah, I'll make a 1-1. One, one. Well, I mean, we have to... I mean, Huntmaster Flip is great, but... 
It's not guaranteed yet. I guess it'll never be guaranteed, but... Interesting. Which is a main phase activate retrofitter foundry. Yeah, I'm like, this is why Dire, Dire Fleet's got first strike, so I ain't scared. I have six mana. I'm not sure what two mana. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess Tezzeret untapping things is a good use of his ability. Sure. I mean, I get to kill that now because you didn't do it at instant speed, which is interesting. That's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually tempted to just hard cast this, kill the sower. I'm not sure I need to do that yet. Maybe I do. Maybe I just play Huntmaster and then Fire Blast. Because again, our deck is a much lower curve now. Masqueron would be Chef's Kiss. So they can pay three, untap this, and make it into a 4-4, four, four, couldn't they? Oh, but they didn't want to do that. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, I don't want to go down to four mana, though, because if we do draw, like, Masquerum or Kogla... Actually, I don't think we have Masquerum in the deck because we didn't want to get hit by it. We do, however, have Kogla in the deck. Yeah, no Masquerum. Kogla's also pretty pretty nuts here, though. But that does make me more inclined to Fire Blast. We did keep Ren in six. No. We did use this. Okay. This is definitely showing me the retrofitter foundry power. Mascara worm, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's born with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so you're just going to... Okay. Yep. Ravenous chupacabra. One time. You got it. Very tempted to fire blast this, get back my Ophiomancer. I think I still want the lands. Like Liliana's not really long for this world, unfortunately. Okay, okay. So this card's pretty, pretty brutal. I wish this dealt five damage. I think we have to mill and try to hit something cool. We did not, but we don't want those anyway. So I guess that's that. Um, fascinating. All right, we're gonna pass and let Huntmaster flip, I guess. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure we're not winning this game, unfortunately. I mean, we can also Fire Blast Tezzeret now, which is actually not bad. Oh, we also can't Fire Blast this, so it doesn't matter if it was five damage. <laughs> it doesn't have Trample, though, which is interesting, because if we did hit this Bitter Blossom, we could have actually just blocked it forever. That seems fine. We have a four turn clock basically. But we have Chupacabra, we should have Hero's Downfall. Nope, Hero's Downfall's over here. Come on, Chupacabra, one time. <sighs> Raging Ravine, not ideal. Yeah, we just have no way to get past this, unfortunately. This is like the worst card against us. And we have like one out in our deck, so. <laughs> you know, that's cool. Uh, I have not done any steps yet. I just, I, it's not, it's not that I'm not doing them. There's no real reason for it. I just haven't, haven't gotten to them yet. When does this, when does the cube finish? January 25th. Oh, great. So we have like another week. That's cool. I mean, I'm going to assume they just drew Mystic Confluence. One, two, three, four. They did not. They played a land. I don't know why they're doing this on, our, on their turn, right? None of these are like only as a sorcery, right? You can do this all on your own turn. Or on my turn, rather. God, man. Massacre not being in the deck is such a such a downer. I feel like this this these any of these three cards could have been a a massacre. What is this? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. They're at thirty. That's pretty good. <laughs> Duress. Oh Lord. Give me strength. I guess they are trying to save their clock and just F6 on our turn. Sure. Now they attack for eight, and we're dead next turn. We have eight mana, though, if we draw a Gristlebrand, which we sided out. So, you know, there's still a chance. There's no chance. No blockers. <laughs> the drawing duress when they have no cards and I'm getting trampled on the board is pretty rough. And <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, guys. You can't make this shit up. Three discard spells in a row. Okie dokie. Well, I think our deck is cool. What can you do? What you can do is subscribe to HelloFresh and uh, help me hit that goal. HelloFresh delivers the food straight to your house, guys. It's unbelievable. And I have three boxes, not three boxes, three different meals coming on Friday. No, Saturday. Yes. So that's going to be sweet. And with that promo code, you save a lot of money. 
You get 21 meals for free over your first eight boxes. Which I think is three meals per box. Fascinating. I'll keep this hand. So all we have to do is draw another green source and uh, Ulmog or Emrakul or uh, Mirror Battle Sphere or Warm Coil Engine. We only have one of those three cards in our deck. So, you know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Ugh. Not, not, not great. Not great, Bob. When I have a kid, I'm going to call them fresh. So when they go to school each day, I'm going to say... What will they say? I, I don't get it. I'm going to kill the Mother of Runes, like, right now. And you can't save it because you've attacked for one. Incredibly greedy, but, you know. Franconic Disciple, I know. I was, I was just joking. <laughs> it's like, let me spell it out for you. Hello Fresh is what they'll say. Oh wow, that's really fascinating. You messed with the messer. Well done, friend. Yeah, well. Oh. Fascinating. Really? I mean, I'm definitely going to trade with the Goblin. No, I'm not going to trade because they're going to they're going to ruin it. Come on, save it with your giver of runes. They didn't save it. This is all very interesting. Create a little gentleman. Milled a mountain. We just want to get them to use this so we can run in six and kill something else. That's not very exciting, though, is it? I guess we can use this. I don't know what's going on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Fascinating. Extremely fascinating. Well, that's pretty good. So we're going to bring in Toxic Deluge and Massacre Worm. That's going to be fun. Channel might be a little greedy in this deck. Hello, Fresho. <laughs> What's the worst you ever lost on a meal? <laughs> Holy shit, that's good. That's charming. Okay, we're going to, well, actually, Woodfall Prime is coming in clutch. I don't know if this is coming in clutch, actually. Hard to say. Hmm. Kapew! Give me this fat daddy. Oh, I guess I can't hit any of their creatures. That's sad. Took my red and six from me. <laughs> Call it. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. I'm disgusted. Mm 
Well, we're definitely blocking the five mana gentleman. And if you'd like to save him, beautiful. Do it. Get it done. I would like to draw a ravenous chupacabra. Oh, necromancy? Sick. Just kidding. <laughs> So let's pay, it's two extra? I always think it's three extra. It's not, it's two extra. We can get this mountain back. That's that's cool, right? No, we're just killing the three mana flyer. And then we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're not dead. Tell me of your meals. Would you like to know? I ordered. I'll just show you guys. Bam! I got this sheet pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken with roasted carrots, potato wedges, and sriracha mayo. I got this sweet corn and green pepper chowder with Old Bay toast. And then I got Tuscan chicken and kale spaghetti with Parmesan. And they all look very good. So I have six servings, one for me and one for Katie each. And it was like 30 bucks for all six meals. So that's pretty good. Like three full dinners is 30 bucks. Like that's a good deal. Oh, we can necromancy grist. Well, I think we're dead, but you know what? I guess we'll see. That's good. See, that's a good play. Because now it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's going to be the end of the game. That's the name of the game. All right. So, that was somewhat expected. Duress can come out. Masky come in. Deluge can come in. Ophio Mansario. Uh, anything else? This feels like an Inferno Titan matchup for sure. Take out Woodfall Primus. So we need one more cut. Oh, hmm. uh, you can probably cut this Ulamog because we're getting rid of. We're not gonna. I guess we can through the breach it. Whatever. Fascinating. Yeah, I'll keep this. Turn two Sylvan Library is good. Plus, we have a ravenous Chupacabra. Ever heard of him? Oh, they didn't have a turn one play? That's good for us. Stoneforge Mistaku. What are you going to get? Skull Clamp? Psh, whatever, nerd. Badlands? Okay. Is it going to be two more lands? Through the Breachums. I want to put this one on... No, don't do that. Put this one on top, and then I'm actually going to pay f four? I don't need to pay four in this matchup, really. It's not going to get me any closer to things. Like, what we want to do is go Chupacabra into Through the Breach, Ulamog. Maybe. Hmm. Who knows? Oh, that's sad. Well, we get a 2-2 two, two back, I guess. So that's cool. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
a pear with a layer of Cheetos, Cheetos dusk, dust caked on one side. Half. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, that was good. See, that would have been a good card to, uh, to get with the Ulamog, you know, or the Ravenous Chupacabra, rather. And now we got it through the breach. Fascinating. Why don't you have Annihilator? Because I took your friend out that had Annihilator. That's why. All right. Well. And let me tell you something about Mother Runes. That card is a real dirt burrito. I thought our deck was cool. Not great. So that's going to be my... That's going to be my swan song. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sword. Okay, well, you can't cast it, so that's nice. I'm very glad that you cannot cast it. Okay, battle cry. Is this colored? Uh, red and green, yes. Okay. It's 26 cards. Is there like no way we can... Oral, let's... Yeah, let's do your step next. Um... Pfft. This feels so bad, but... I think it's just gotta be done. I can't let this Hero of Blade Hold run amok here. We take eight. Oh, God. What? What the hell does that do? <laughs> it's not giver of runes. If you breach... If the breach you drafted brought you to this, of what use was the breach? God, that's a good... That's a deep question. Okay, okay. This is great because now if we draw any of our things that deal one damage, we get to kill it. That's real. Hmm, boy. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. Um, sure. Oh, we can also get their Skyclave Apparition to get rid of like. That's not better than Ulamog, though, right? I don't think so, personally. What are the odds they have a removal spell for this Necromancy? What if they, well, they're just going to play Parallax Wave? Watch. Parallax Wave. Don't wave me, bro. Bro, please don't wave me. Sure. It's a mountain. Nerd. Can we Toxic Deluge for like one? That kills so much. Oh god, or Masker Worm. Oh, please give me Masker Worm. Masakre Wormo. Did you watch The Last of Us? Not yet, no. Dude, we have such a long list of TV shows. We're actually thinking of getting a whiteboard because we actually forget what shows to keep watching. How this dude does not have reach, I, I don't know. Um, Easy choice. Mm, yes, cool. So if they alpha, we get to go... Block, block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not dead yet. Should have played the mountain. They knew about it. <laughs> now they know we have nothing. That's unfortunate. But what can you do? You know, really, what, what can you do? 
Let's see, what are your options? It's like... Whew, they're gonna kill us now. I just know it. One, two, three, okay. They got a Gataxian probe. Fascinating. I guess they just want to draw the two. What if they draw the two, play Gataxian probe, go to one, and then I just Ulamog and attack? Oh, wow, that seems really good, right? They didn't do it. Gideon's good. Emblem's neat. <sighs> God. It's really sad they didn't play it. Do we have anything we can get? I don't think so. I don't think we have any cards with like flashback. But let's take a look anyway, right? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's zero. No, 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 no. Okay. So we're dead, right? We do this, they have one card left, they draw it, then they kill us. That's how that goes. <sighs> if only we could have, if only you could target your opponent with it, no? God, I'm very proud of them for not doing it. Of course we boarded Massacre Worm and um, Inferno Titan and Toxic Deluge and didn't draw any of them in 16 cards, but you know, what can you do? They have one card left. Comical. Yeah, that's no good. Boo hiss. I don't even know why you're playing your thing. Just give this guy. Sure. <laughs> Just attack. You know, the, I, I have mountain and you know I have mountain. So it's like, this is all just like, yep. Do it. And dead. All right. One, two incoming, huh? <laughs> That's, man, I had much higher hopes for this deck, but here we are.
Any new comics or comic related things? Uh, not since I've been laid off. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to wait till I get a job until I start getting more, uh, comic related things. Uh, yeah, this is good. Keep it. Uh, how's the job hunt? I mean, it's, it's, it's how you'd expect it to be from uh, software and games where you send out seven applications and you don't hear anything for a month. I mean, and you have a bunch of friends with connections that all put in a good word for you and you still don't get anything after that. So I don't know. It's, it's really discouraging and you just have to like wait every single day and hope that you get an email that says we'd like to proceed. Uh, I just finished a design test for a company and I submitted that. So my, my, my test was about 2,200 words. So hopefully that's um, sufficient and I hope, hope they like what I said and hope I can proceed to the next step. <laughs> but... I don't know, man. It's kind of a crapshoot. Like, it's... I don't know. I don't do any software engineering. I'm a, I have had game design positions. But at software companies. So, like, you know, the games are still digital, but I'm not a software engineer. Necromancy. Another white red deck, huh? What are they? They're O one. Keep this in hand, I'll put you on top. Oh, love the old warder fetches. And then we have this. I guess we have this because uh, we don't really want to support the Harold McNeil art. Because that dude's a shitbag. And there should be a swamp on top we can keep up for Hero's Downfall. But what are our other options? Come on, Huntmaster of the Fells. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. Another another reason fetch lands would, would be nice here. You know, it's funny because, like, you, you, like, the question, how's the job hunt going, is, like, such a, it's an unsatisfying question because, like, you never know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're never talking to people. It's always like, okay, I, I applied online to these six jobs and no human being got back to me to let me know if I was qualified or what I could have, you know, done differently or... You know what I mean? It's like, so it's like you have no feedback. There's no point of feedback. There's no updates given. Seasoned pyromancer in the bin. That's fascinating. Well, yeah, because we know, we know how you do and it's just a social nicety. You know, it's like, it's literally the same as saying, hey, what's up? And even that, you're not meant to answer. Well, let me tell you what's up, actually. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this 
I'm going to discard Woody McWooderson. Maybe. Who knows? We're going to draw two lands. I'm probably just discarding two lands, to be quite honest. We really just don't want to hit two more lands on the top. That's all. Uh, discard this guy. I think it was just two forests, right? What do we have to get this guy back? Colgon's Command, a makeshift mannequin. But I also just don't want a Woodfall Primus in the graveyard, so we'll just discard these. And then draw the two forests. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, also, if we discard Woodfall Primus, they just get it with the Necromancy, so that would be, that'd be rough. So, I'm glad we didn't choose to do that. But now maybe we'll get it through the breach, right? We can put this Woodfall Primus into play, kill this Godless Shrine, and then kill this Plains. <laughs> Good times. I will use this. Oh, that's this is this is this is the sauce. Uh, put you on top, top, play this. I would not be surprised if this was a little GG's. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Get you. And get you. Take him off that white. And then we get to play Liliana next turn. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just kind of wait. Speaking of, I just got the We Regret to inform you with the position has been filled. Even. Yeah, those are wonderful too. Oh, I just win. So we saw some graveyard shenanigans. I kind of like Kogula since they have. Um, like necromancy. Maelstrom pulse is good too. Take out the Renin six. Need one more cut, huh? I'm assuming they got some big idiots. So I kind of like Hero's Downfall and Maelstrom Pulse. I kind of want Channel to work. <laughs> so it might just be Hero's Downfall. Because we have Maelstrom Pulse and Chupacabra. Getting a job is all about knowing people in my experience. I could get another restaurant job tomorrow if I need because somebody... Yeah, I I, agree. I think that's true in some industries, but in the game industry, like, I, dude, every almost every job I apply for, I have a recommendation from someone. Like, I applied to a Bethesda position. I have multiple... Rep, rep, uh, what's, oh my God, I just literally forgot the word. Um, recommendations through them. Uh, I applied for a Blizzard position. I got several recommendations there. And, like, it it just doesn't get me any closer. Like, I 
I don't know. It's very frustrating. Yeah, I mean, it might get me closer, but I'll never know. But, like, it, it's never gotten me, like, I've never gotten an interview just because, like, um, people have recommended me, you know. No one personal has ever reached out and said, hey, you came with a great recommendation from X employee. You know, I'd like to, you know, chat with you or let's, you know, let's give you an interview. It never gets, it never, it's never advanced me a stage, if that makes sense. Because it's like, I mean, it's, and I say that like, because there's like multiple stages in every, in every game interview I've ever had, where it's like, first you submit the application, then you do, um, then you do, you do, you, sometimes you speak with a hiring manager and they tell you about the position and things like that. Um, then you have, I mean, a lot of times you'll have to do a design test after that so they can get an idea of like your skills or your thought processes or how you think about things or how you see games. And then finally, there's another interview with a hiring, with like, uh, like senior designers or developers who you'd be working under. And then they talk about your test a little bit and see, get your opinions and things like that. So it's very like, it's very thorough and there's like four different filters that you have to get through. Oh, and I agree with you. There's not a lot of transparency. Uh, I am on, I am currently unemployed. That is that is why we're having this this chat. Yeah, I was laid off in the middle of December with about sixty other designers on a project we were working on. So. Unfortunate. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna... Definitely killing that skull clamp. I think we're just killing a spirit token. Like we get to look at their hand next turn, so. With this beautiful baby boy. And then we're gonna draw through the breach to play Woodfall Promise, right? Right. Not yet, I guess. Black, 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 black. He said black four times. There's only two blacks in the casting cost. What? Why would he say it so many times? Good question. Good question. Elspeth, which copies Grist. Grief. Not Grist. Uh, P and Kieran Alar I don't care about. I think it's just Metamorph, actually. You can't cast the other two. Yeah, let's get rid of that Metamorph. And even if you cast Elspeth, like we just attack if you want to cast it. Oh, well, now you're going to cast it. Now you're going to cast it. Them taking Primus would be bad. With what? What does that mean? Like if we left them, let them keep Metamorph? Like, I don't think they're, I don't think they're going to wait four to five more turns to cast it though. Oh, they, they, they copy Grief and then take, yeah, I mean, that's fine. They don't have a way to get it back right now. And it might even be better for us if, you know, 
we get a way to get it back. That was an interesting attack because I'd much rather them. If I, I mean, I feel like you'd rather block the grief through the breach. Racto signet. Okay. Fair play. Attack Elspeth. Make sure that's correct. I wonder if they're going to try to block. They're like, oh no, Menace. Manasio. No? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're, we're, we're two mana away from casting Woody. You got it. <sighs> Man, where's the massacre worm? <laughs> I think it's still in the yep, Mask Roman Toxic Dailers are still on the sideboard. We just didn't see enough in game one. It looked like more of a reanimator deck. So what do we want to draw here? It's gonna be land, so it doesn't matter what we want to draw, I guess. Ready? Bad lands. That's my guess. Close enough, I guess. Boy. That's funny. Uh, attack Elspeth, I guess. So they have to block with at least one flyer. Or they let her die. They do not let her die. I mean, next turn we can play Woodfall Primus and kill Elspeth, so that's fine. Woodfall Primus <laughs> one time. Well, they still can't cast P and Kieran Alar. Okay, so that's all they have in hand. That's good for us, I guess. Necromancy, is that better? Not until next turn. And then we can Necromancy the Phyrexian Metamorph. Get rid of this. Next turn, we'll take them off red. And we just need one turn where they don't draw red, you know? I don't think that's asking a lot. The real Massacre Worm was the friends we murdered along the way. <laughs> oh, it's Alan. Wow. That was exciting. Okay, so it looks like there was no red. That's exciting. Inquisition. Oh, come on. I can't believe, I cannot believe you've done this. Uh, 
I was I was all set to have two woodfall premises. Huntmaster the Fells? Anything four or less lets us activate Raging Ravine and cast it. One mana shy for that. One, two, three, four. So we deal nine. And I assume they block because that's just a good deal. Yeah. I like this retro frame Inquisition that doesn't exist. I actually just checked and I'm like, is that a real card? Still no, still no PA and Kieran Alar, <laughs> but they're casting something. I bet they're casting their own Necromancy to get back Frixie Metamorph to copy Woodfall Primus to kill my Raging Ravine. Coligon's Command, discard a card. And they got back Metamorph. So basically, very similar to what I, what I said. Solid draw. So long, Raging Ravine. <laughs> uh. Hey! Hey, little buddy. Oh, that's interesting. That is fascinating. Okay. We're at seven. Just those guys, huh? Okay. I mean, what are the odds that they drew something that can target make sure target Willamog, you know? One, two, three, four. I guess let's find out what you got. P okay, nothing. All right, they have two cards in their deck. We can block the Woodfall Primus. So they have to draw a removal spell. Now even that would bring our, bring our Woodfall Primus back, I guess. So this should theoretically be game. Oh. That's... That's good. That's very good. <laughs> I forgot it was a Metamorph. <laughs> This game has dragged on for just a bit too long. Is Oral still there? So we can do a stipulation after this. Yep, so I have three cards. Wait, they have they have three cards. Okay. So now we can actually block this and kill their red source. I'm not sure what that does, but they didn't attack with their two guys either. This is very interesting. All right. They have to draw something that targets Ulamog. Animate dead. 
Targeting grief. That doesn't do it. So I think we win. Okay, we win. Not the best draft, but nonetheless decent. Definitely check out HelloFresh if you want to support the stream. They are the sponsors for the next two weeks. Uh, if you guys want a great deal on some some uh, tasty meals, Katie and I, uh, Katie and I have had HelloFresh several times. We've uh, they give you little meal cards that have the ingredients and the instructions on how to make them and pictures of the food. And you can we actually kept them and put them on the fridge in case we wanted to make them again. Uh, food's very good. You get twenty one free meals and free shipping. Um, on your first eight boxes. So for me, I ordered a $60 box and I ended up being like 28 bucks for like six meals, which is less than $5 a meal, which is awesome. So definitely check that out. You can use the promo code in the little box above. It's also in my, my about info and, uh, it's a great way to support the channel. So definitely check that out and, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you later.